everybody, welcome back to That Fiction Life. Welcome to another guide video. I love doing these because I take you through my favorite series and explain the reading order and my general thoughts in a completely spoiler-free way. Now today's feature series I'm so excited about is the Skull Duggery Pleasant series by Derek Landy. The eye makeup for now is based on the two books in the series that published this year, Dead or Alive and The Grimoire. If you enjoy fantasy and mystery, and very sarcastic characters. Stay tuned for this video. And also to see an entire skull look, I will show you the whole process of creating the skull book look. Thank you so much to HarperCollins for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to dive in and tell you all about the series. So without further ado, let's begin. a short explanation of how I even began reading this series. I read the first books so many years ago. The first book published in 2007, so it's quite a long-running series. And it was during library times for me, but I would find all my books from the library and I would be one of those children who would wheel out 10 books, even though you could only have them in your house for three weeks or so. I would take 10 books and it would be fine. And the Skullduggery Pleasant series was one of them. But I have always been a fantasy reader. You all know this if you've been on my channel before. That is what I dedicate my life to. And this is one of those original series that sort of kick-started the obsession. I'm so predictable, but vampires do appear in this series. So for me personally, that's all I kind of need to hear about a book to want to read it. It's a contemporary fantasy slash urban fantasy, so it's set within our real world, but it does have those magical elements in it. In fact, the characters are actually detectives and in each of the books they tackle all sorts of different problems and they kind of try and save the earth from various things. That's kind of the overlying arc of the whole universe. So you will definitely like the series if, if you're into things like the Shadowhunter Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. It perfectly intertwines the fantasy elements into real life. It's about real places and real people, but then you have time travel, and mystical elements and actual skeletons that walk in a suit, hence my outfit today. This is what I call the vampire blazer because it's a cape. Um, let, let me show you. So instead of having sleeves like a normal person, I have a cape, just very on brand for me. We're going to start with the reading order. As there's 14 books in the series currently, there will be 15, not counting the grimoire. This is like the Bible for the series, so it's not part of the actual stories. I will be talking about this in a little bit. So the first nine books of the series form a part of the first instalment. And that all kickstarts with Valkyrie Kane and Scarlet Duggery Pleasant, who team up after he saves her. He is 400 years old, he's very sarcastic and sassy. He's quite egotistical, which we love in a main character because it just makes for a very chaotic time. And in the first book, they team up to solve Valkyrie's uncle's murder. And throughout the series, they're sort of this unbeatable team and they go on the craziest adventures like I mentioned before. There's vampires involved. The ending of the world is kind of a long running theme of the series as well. So if you can technically read the books without an order because each of them focus on a different type of mission. However, you will of course be spoiled on pre-ascending events as they do come up. Now in the second part of the series, Valkyrie has decided to retire, however, evil forces don't ever stop. So her and Scar Duggery Pleasant kickstart their partnership again and they try and save the world. The second part of the series starts with resurrection and currently ends with Dead or Alive, but there will be a final book coming out next year. Now the grimoire is what I'm most excited about as I love when authors decide to give you an in-depth look into how they craft their series because as you all know authors write so much more behind the scenes and so here similar to things like the shadow hunters codex and the lives of saints by lee bardugo this is the secret history of the universe for the skarduggery pleasant series and it's acts as a recap on all of the books that have happened so far 
which honestly, for a 15 book series, that is so useful. But there's elementals in the series, witches, warlocks, vampires, and you learn details about all of them throughout this book. Like, I just love that this even has footnotes as if it's a real archive where you can research. It's sort of the sorcerers are the main people that you have to know about. And the story of Skullduggery Pleasant himself is just very vague and mysterious. And so it's quite hilarious how this book keeps pointing that out. <laughs> and it is written by a sorcerer who hates him, which is hilarious. There is a stamp on the top right hand side, which is, the book has actual holes in, which just kind of looks like it's been poisoned or some chemicals have been splattered all over it or something. The illustrations just give me life. It's like an encyclopedia for the entire series. There's some bonus content in here. My personal favorites are the in memoriam pages. There are in memoriam pages, which I will not show you because <laughs> that is massive spoiler. But this is also like, it's been plucked straight out of the archives. As you know, there is a massive council that sort of overlooks everything that, about their thoughts and various things or sort of what has been lost throughout time or what they need to look into and research more. Something that I really appreciate about this series is that because of its length, of course the characters are going to grow up. Books grow up with them, so if you read the first books, they are definitely more for a younger teen audience with this latest one. It's a lot darker. It delves into the darkness of Valkyrie's character, which is one of my favorite parts about reading it but throughout the whole series she is quite I guess intrigued by some questionable things and she definitely sort of wavers between what sort of person she wants to be and in this book I really appreciated how Skullduggery sees her and how he talks about what she hides and she does have a massive choice to make in this book like this kind of felt like finale i know there's another book to come but everything leading up to this throughout the story it's quite a lengthy book so you kind of go through all the different motions you just felt the stakes getting higher and then valkyrie's thought process of everything was really cool to read about there's a lot of candid conversations that happen in this one specifically it's the most inclusive i think out of the whole series i really enjoyed seeing how valkyrie's past was brought in specifically specifically her relationship. The comedic relief here is just so sarcastic and quite irreverent at times. I would say the humor is quite satire, which I enjoy. This series covers so many genres. Personally, my favorite type of fantasy book is when it weaves in a crime element because you're solving various things, but it's done in a paranormal setting, but it also needs to have comedy in it. Now there is a lot going on in this book. The length kind of does give you that sense before even reading it, but at times there were so many different plots going on that I had to sit and reflect. I adore short chapters, but the fact that these chapters are quite quick and snappy does feel a little bit like a chaotic read. And there's upsides and downsides to that. It felt like I was jumping all over the place, kind of transporting to all the different places. But on the other hand, it makes it such a fast paced read that you don't really realize you're getting through so much of the story. I love the astral projections element in this book. So Valkyrie has to kind of learn this new power. I love the school scenes. You know, the way the Academy is kind of just brought in for the most random things at times. And you think, where is this even going? And then you put all the puzzles together and how everything fits in like a little bow. Oh, you're so nostalgic. You know that feeling when you return to an old series? Here's the problem, okay? A lot of childhood favorites, you're never able to read them for the first time again. Again, because if you reread it, you already know what happens and that kind of thing. But going back to a series that you hadn't read in years, but being able to see it through a fresh story, but with the same characters, there's just nothing quite like it. And it's part of the reason why I really enjoyed reading Midnight Sun and the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes last year, because returning to the series with Dead or Alive kind of just took me straight back to So this is my guide to the Skullduggery Pleasant series. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to look back on the series. And then of course, read the new installment. Links to all of the books will be in the description. And so now without further ado, Please enjoy my whole process of the book look and let me know what you think. 